Alright, what's up everybody? Today we are building an off-road Lamborghini Diablo. Why? I don't know. It's different. So let's get into it then. We're gonna do a quick little race here, and then we're gonna get into the build. So yeah, pretty much the whole reason I really built this car, because it's different, it's quick, and I kind of wanted to see how this thing would do off-road. Don't know why I was thinking that, but I was. Yeah. I just did that. Okay, that happened. Hate rewinding during recording, so I like to do it all in one take, but sometimes the world has other plans for me. So. Save this. I can save it. <laughs> Never mind. I can't save that. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Alright, I think that for my first time driving this car, because <laughs> I literally just built it, um, it actually did pretty good. I like the way that it drove, Like, and I think it might honestly be the best handling and driving off-roader that I have right now. As of right now, this is definitely my favorite one, considering I've only driven it once during that race. This is the only time I ever drove it. But that was pretty good. Actually let me let me rephrase that or scratch that honestly. That isn't the first time I drove it. That's the first time I drove it with the altered tune. Cause typically the off road cars don't need any tuning. But this one needed a couple tweaks minor tweaks and yeah just needed a couple very minor tweaks this is the first time I drove it with that tune so yeah See, is there any like festivals nearby? So we can get a little free roam driving in. Let's go here. So we can get it up to speed. Dang it. <laughs> Okay, never mind. We're 
going around. I forgot about that. Okay, we gotta go back this way. This car sounds great though. should go by fairly fast because most of this is stock um i mainly built this for like baja racing like the cross country cross country type stuff but um i just did a regular like dirt race like a regular off-road dirt race that seemed to work pretty good Anyway, start with the upgrades. We obviously are going all-wheel drive in um, in an off-road car. We're going all-wheel drive. We did the single turbo. And, like the twin gets better handling and off-road, but the single gets better acceleration and everything and all that. And the twin also, or not the twin, the single had a better launch too. But I think that's pretty much high enough that it's just fine. So, single turbo. Arrow, if you want it, go ahead. I didn't, so. Then off road race tires 245mm in the front, 345mm in the back. Wheels, put whatever wheels you want. I put the 1552 Forge 3 piece Formula TR in the in the multi-piece rim style. Then wheel size, go ahead and leave that stock. Then track width, you want to max it out in the rear. Spacers, you want to max them out in the front too. Um, then you want the what the heck oh the engine turned off then you want the um, nine speed race transmission the race drive line and the off-road differential sorry I just like revving cars in here sounds really nice okay so race brakes rally suspension race front anti-roll bars, race rear anti-roll bars, the race weight reduction, race intake, race fuel system, race ignition, race valves, race... Oh, I didn't put a race cam on it. Put a race cam on it. Um, that makes it even faster now, so that's, that's great. I thought I put that on there. Uh, race exhaust, race engine block, race pistons, race turbo, race intercooler, and race flywheel. So I had a top speed of 246 and I know that the cam is going to bump up the speed so I kinda wanna see how fast it is now. So 
tuning 251, so I want to have like 4 miles per hour. Alright, so tuning your tire pressure, you want 15 in the front, 20 in the rear. Gearing, you want 2.20, final drive, leave all of the gearing ratios stock. Alignment, you want 0 camber in the front, negative 7 in the rear, and then tow, you want 0. Point I feel like I could use just a tad more. Uh, 0 0.6 in the front, 0 in the rear, front caster angle 7.0, anti roll bars, leave them stock. The springs, I think I left stock as well. Same with the damping, the braking, put the differential in the front, you want 100% acceleration, 70% deceleration. And in the rear you want 100% acceleration with 75% deceleration with the center balance of 60% towards the rear. So yeah, this tune is pretty, pretty much, hmm. yeah, it's pretty much stock. There's nothing really too, too crazy going on there, but um, that is going to wrap up today's video. And as we do here, we're going to end it off with donuts. We'll do every other one. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.